All right, hi Leo, this is gonna be your reading. This is for Leo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles and pick which side of the story you're on. Okay, so what do Leo placements need to know right now? So accident wanted to come out, who else got that? I think Taurus, you can have Taurus placements or you could be dealing with somebody that does, what else? Or you could be a Taurus with Leo placements, let's see. We got Sweet Dreams or Sweet Dream number 39 satisfaction comfortable lazy day so some of you guys could be getting better rest or you're being called to rest more pay attention pay attention to your dreams as well okay you could be feeling more comfortable you could be doing things during the day or you could be you're being called to do more things during the day that satisfy you so you can go to sleep comfort more comfortable okay and feel good some of you guys need more lazy days you need more days where you can relax just chill out all right what else we have stubbornness number 77 selfness malish malish attitude and arrogance so you could be dealing with number 77 you could be dealing with somebody that's really uh stubborn this could be you you're a fixed sign maybe you have other fixed sign placements in your chart aquarius scorpio taurus or other leo placements Okay, you could be a different, you could be a fixed sign that has Leo in their chart. So somebody here could be being stubborn, arrogant, or you're dealing with someone that's like this. What else? What else for Leo? Somebody's just hard-headed. And yeah, we got endorsement number 52. Persuasion, bribe, temptation. Okay, so somebody could be trying to bribe somebody with money, sex, something. <laughs> Uh, we got marinette, dictatorship, domination, reluctance. So somebody here is trying to control someone. Yeah, we got, okay. Oh my God, somebody is trying to rock. Somebody could be trying to take something from somebody. Okay, or do something. Yeah, something's being, in, yeah, somebody, here. okay, okay. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capital, the Earth sign readings were really they capricorn's reading disgusted me virgo's reading disgusted me the most aries reading as drama and here we go fire signs here we go yeah somebody could be trying to manipulate the law or get something to go in their favor i feel like somebody's a thief here somebody could be trying to take somebody's innocence a child possibly or do somebody trying to trap somebody possibly with a ch or do something something is going on here the trap victim a lord trick yeah somebody is trying to bribe somebody's trying to trap somebody into doing something stupid or they or somebody fell for the temptation or whatever the fuck we'll see i have a little cold leo so you're gonna hear me sniffle blow my nose okay um yeah well we're gonna see what somebody's trying to do let's switch uh sweet dream for leo placements okay seven of wands Mars and Leo. So I feel like you guys are being protected while you sleep. If you were having nightmares, sleep paralysis, some of you guys can need to do a return to sender. You may need to set boundaries, okay? For your peace, you're gonna have to self-preservation, set bound for your peace of mind, you're gonna have to set boundaries with yourself and with people, okay? Or en energetic boundaries, something. What sweet dream? What's that Beyonce song when she was like, you can be my sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare? Go listen to that song by Beyonce. I forgot what song is that called. She was like, you can be my sweet, I don't know how to sing, so I'm not, but she was like, you can be my sweet dream or my beautiful nightmare. It's a Beyonce song. Is it, It's not Halo either. I think, is it called Sweet Dreams? Go to, listen to that Beyonce song. What's Sweet Dream here? Because that song is just playing in my head. I have, I don't even like that song. So, <laughs> what's Sweet Dream? Somebody could be trying to attack you while you're sleeping. Nine of Wands in reverse. Moon in Sagittarius. Something's been an ongoing battle. It could be your sleep patterns or this is somebody else. 
I feel like you're going to be the last one standing. You can sleep easy. You're going to be able to sleep easy at night. You're going to be the last one standing in the situation. You're not backing down. Three of, this could be people at work that are trying to get you to back down. They're trying to project shit onto you. They could be competing with you. People at school or whatever you, what, what it, the gym, whatever, whatever you frequent at. The supermarket, whatever, wherever you frequent at, okay? Three of Pentacles in reverse, Mars and Capricorn. Somebody here is not being cooperative. They're not being a team player. It's hard to get along. I, I just, somebody doesn't really get along. They, somebody doesn't really play well with others. Some of you guys are breaking a contract. Somebody here is lazy. They keep trying to copy your work or, or copy some shit that you're doing. What's this seven of wands? Somebody could be stuck in a bad contract or they're trying to get you or somebody stuck in a bad contract. What's this? Uh, yeah, the four swords, sleep, peace. Some of you guys need a spa day. What's the seven of wands? Six of swords in reverse. Oh, gotcha. Mercury and Aquarius. So you could be, yeah, some of you guys are standing your ground. You're going to feel better. The more you stand your ground, Leo, or Leo placement or whoever's watching, the better you're going to feel, the better you're going to sleep at night, the more at peace you're going to be. I think I had got this in one of your other readings about you, somebody, you're going to have to stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself because somebody's not going to back down. They're going to just keep bullying you, keep taunting you, keep bothering you, keep doing something. You're going to, somebody's going to have to face something, something that's been an ongoing battle. And I see you coming out victorious. This could be legally, this could be spiritually, emotionally, romantically, familiarly, platonically, whatever it is. I see you coming out victorious. You're standing your ground. No, nobody's going to make you feel defeated. Six of swords in reverse. Somebody could be trying to bring trouble your way. Six of swords in reverse. This could be a blockage. Somebody could be going. You'll know you're going down the wrong path, Leo, when th when you experience blockages, when you don't sleep good. Like, you'll know you spent your day. You'll know you spent your day was well spent if you, the, depending on how you sleep at night. You'll know if, if, the, if a relationship is good for you, a friendship, whatever, project. You'll know. You'll know because you'll be at peace. You'll be comfortable. Okay, you ever you ever heard the saying? Well, for me, I know when somebody's not good for me, or I know when I'm comfortable with somebody when I can sleep with them. If I can't sleep next to somebody, whether I was able to in the past or not, it doesn't matter. Once I feel like I'm not, I can't sleep with you. Like I, it's hard for me to fall asleep. It's that's a, a red flag to me. That's to personally, but six of swords. And I'm just giving y'all an example. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Aries here. April Aries, April Taurus. Yeah, some of y'all... Yeah, this person... Somebody could be trying to bring trouble your way. You may have to take somebody to court here, Leo. Or you may... Some of y'all could have experienced PTSD dealing with this person. I don't know. King of Pentacles in reverse. There could be an instant. Maybe you guys feel a bit insecure about standing up for yourself or somebody wants you to feel and somebody wants you to like feel insecure about something, your finances, your stability. Maybe you relied on this person at one point in time, but justice, queen of pentacles. I see you being perfectly okay on your own. I see somebody being perfectly okay. Some of you guys are going to be getting justice in the situation. Somebody here could not be paying you your hours. Somebody here could be working you like you're not like the amount of work you're doing. You're not getting you're not getting the pay for it. Whether this is a it could even be the, the amount of effort you're putting in a relationship. You're not getting the appreciation back for it. However you want to spend it. Somebody here you're dealing with somebody or you were that was lazy. This person had inner child wounds. They could have been abused as a child or trigger warning. This could have been you. Somebody here could have been really in somebody here is an antagonist. They're a troublemaker. They're, they're jealous of you. Whether this is your partner, your spouse, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, whoever. An ex, current partner, it doesn't matter. Somebody's non-committal. They're lazy. They're sloppy. They're a mess. Sagittarius here with, this, with the temperance in reverse. December Capricorn, December Sag with this Queen of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Somebody's lazy. They're unskilled at something or they wanted you to feel... They, somebody wants you to feel unskilled. Child, please. 
King of Pentacles in reverse. Who is this? High Priestess in reverse. Somebody has having an emotional outburst. What's this King of Pentacles in reverse? Who is that? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Somebody could be crying a lot. The Emperor. Heavy Aries energy. The Hero Font in reverse. The Empress in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody's a troublemaker. Somebody has distorted beliefs. Traditional beliefs or gender role beliefs that are really distorted. You could be dealing with somebody that's overbearing. Somebody's a troublemaker. They're greedy. They're never satisfied. They're materialistic, superficial. Somebody's obsessed with what looks good. They don't really care. I don't. I don't know. Somebody's non-committal, or they're somebody's power hungry. Somebody's obsessed with power. Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah, the fool in reverse. Something about somebody's innocence here. The Fool, Aquarius, Aries, Energy, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Hermit. Yeah. Somebody's holding a grudge or they're stuck somewhere. Or you could be, maybe you still, you're moving, you're, you still haven't moved on from something fully yet. You could be crying a lot. This Fool could be about um, hesitancy, a fear of change being naive or gullible i feel like somebody was really naive and gullible or they wanted you to be maybe you had a soft spot for this person this person could want to renew something with you they could want to return and 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 fight for their position but something's an ongoing battle <laughs> what's the nine of wands in reverse somebody's just trying to be a distraction some of you guys have new love coming in or you saw the potential in something, but I, I just feel like something's an ongoing battle. What's the nine of wands in reverse? Yeah, page of wands. You could be dreaming about somebody, Leo. It could be sexual for some of you or somebody dreaming about you. Somebody wants to reconcile with you, but I don't... What's this page of wands? Yeah, temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, somebody is just very childish. Somebody's in somebody is just being antagonizing. Somebody is just very they act like they're innocent, but they're not. I just feel like somebody go somebody. It's like somebody loves to, or they they enjoyed antagonizing you. Maybe you had a, a, an abandonment wound that this person targeted and played on. Somebody loved seeing you. Somebody here, like some y'all 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 got PTSD. This person was very traumatic to deal with. Somebody's emotions are up and down. They were moody one minute, they wanted you the next minute, they didn't. Or this is how somebody is seeing you, flipping and switching. I don't know who's watching for who. Somebody played on a part of your innocence and I think when people do that that shit is really demonic and whack like really temperance in reverse somebody does something in excess could be drinking, sex, smoking somebody could be sleeping a lot because they're depressed, they're sad somebody could be like overeating, undereating temperance in reverse yeah the death here somebody could be sick Scorpio energy You know, somebody can have Scorpio or Sag in your chart. What's this death here? Five of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're Mars and Scorpio. You know, I feel like you're over something. You could be crying a lot. I was going to say Aries. I just did Aries. Uh, but I, I feel like you're going to be getting over something. Somebody could be mad that they feel like you got over something. They, somebody feels like you, maybe in the past, you you could have fought for this person and hung on to them and clung to them. But this time, it's like over, over. You're not doing that. Somebody's like upset. They have a bone to pick with you. They want to say something to you. Yeah, somebody's miserable. They're not happy. 
Yeah, you're too comfortable. Is bothering somebody. A fool in reverse. <laughs> yeah, the three of swords is here. Yeah. Somebody could have did something reckless to hurt you. They did something off of impulse. The high priestess. Somebody's having a lot of outbursts. You could be having a lot of crying spells. Okay, you could be grieving something. There could be a loss of someone that you're grieving. Somebody here could be sick. Like they, you know. Three of Swords is here, yeah. Saturn and Libra, pain, trauma, overthinking. This person could have put you in third parties or they could have just betrayed you in some way. They betrayed your trust. They hurt you. They could have triggered a wound that you already had within you. It's like this, yeah, you were always out of balance. Your mood, you could have been really moody or this person. Somebody here could be even bipolar or I don't know. Somebody, somebody jumps to conclusions. It's, it's just somebody's very traumatic to deal with, or or they were traumatic to deal with, or they want to traumatize you or project onto you. Yeah, somebody's not listening. Somebody didn't listen to their intuition. Okay, there's a lot of illusions here. Somebody has in it. Somebody's past, their upbringing, their their a, a other a bad experience is negatively influencing somebody's actions as an adult somebody is stubborn they're unwilling to, i feel like somebody's unwilling to change there's negative patterns on repeat somebody's not listening to their intuition they're neglecting what their intuition is telling them what stubbornness they don't want to grow up what stubbornness Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody's obsessive. They won't leave you alone. <laughs> February, February Pisces or Aquarius. Somebody's a troublemaker. They're moody. They're insincere. They have a lot of one-night stands. Possibly the Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody could be on the down low. Okay, they could be confused about their sexuality. You could be having weird dreams about that as well. I don't know. Somebody's very insincere. They're trying to bring... Somebody could be trying to bring you a dirty offer and you're rejecting it. Especially if they already hurt you in the past or you just... Something is off about somebody. They're non-committal. They could be dirty. They're sloppy. They're a slob. They make poor financial decisions. They, they can have, like, gambling addictions. They're a mess. Some of you guys could be dreaming about somebody that passed away or that you miss. What's stubbornness here? Somebody won't take no for an answer with stubbornness. You may have to get a restraining order or something. Yeah, the magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. You can have a Mercury in Virgo or Gemini or Cancer. Yeah, Mercury and Cancer here, Three of Cups. Somebody could be, if you guys have mutual friends with this person, they could be trying to uh, use your friends or somebody in your friend group. You need to be careful. Yeah, somebody's trying to like rain on your parade. A magician, there's clarity here. What's this Knight of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the hangman. Pisces, heavy Pisces here. You or them could have Pisces. Somebody is stubborn, really. The Nine of Wands in reverse is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. This is like insanity at this point. Somebody doesn't want to surrender. They don't want to let go. They're going to try to use all their resources and tools within them and around them to get something that they want or to stall on something. November Sag, November Scorpio. Heavy on a, a fireside energy. Hangman in reverse. Somebody just won't let up. This person could be saying that they're suicidal, they're this, they're that, they're going to kill themselves if you leave them. Maybe they said that in the past and you felt bad for them, or maybe that was you. I don't know. The hangman in reverse. Yeah, ace of swords in reverse. A lack of clarity, animosity. This person's a liar. They're greedy. They're selfish. They were non-committal, possibly. Or maybe you were. I don't know. You could have, I don't, you know, again, play, use your discernment. We all got to take accountability for the part that we played in things. Ace of swords is a lack of clarity, uh, a lack of focus. This person gets bored easily, so they cause drama. What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. Saturn and Sagittarius. Somebody's, I'm sorry to say, but somebody's a, a burden. Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. Page of Pentacles. 
Somebody could have been listening to their whack ass family members or friends or who they had a child with possibly. Or this could be someone you had a child with. Ten of Cups in reverse, Mars and Pisces. A lack of harmony within the family or home dynamic. Something was toxic. It could have even been abusive in some kind of way. Somebody could have been financially abusive or they are. This could be a broken home, possibly. This is Ten of Wands. Something about somebody's upbringing is really negatively influencing them or who they had a child with or whatever. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse here. Mercury and Savage. Somebody's refusing to hear the truth, see the truth, speak. The, somebody doesn't want to, somebody just wants to see what they want to see. Eight of Wands in reverse. This could be like a lot of back and forth, animosity, hostility. Some people, somebody projecting some shit onto you. You need, there's something that, or somebody that you need to tune out. Somebody could be trying to project negative thoughts on you. Thoughts of uh, suicide, uh, just really heavy thoughts. You need to like, somebody needs to find a way to tune that out. This could be a family member, someone that you wanted, that you once, that you saw yourself with as your end or be all at one point. You may have kids with this person for some of you, or they have kids, I don't know. But this person showing up as the king of pentacles in reverse has the nerve to be mad at you. <laughs> Whoever was wrong in this situation is mad at the person, another person for wanting to get away. That's what's crazy. There could be delays, bad timing. Somebody has abandonment wounds. Okay, what's the yeah, like what's this magician here? Yeah, two of swords here. Somebody doesn't want to see the truth. They don't want to hear the truth, see the truth. They don't want to make a decision. This could be information overload. Somebody could be trying to overload you, fast talk you, judgment in reverse. Somebody's refusing to undergo an awakening. There's no second chances. I feel like with the death upright, the judgment in reverse. Something is going to stay over this time. Maybe somebody's in denial about that. For those of you who need clarity on something, you may need to go within. Stop looking outside of yourself for the answers. They're only going to be found within. Okay, there is a lack of awareness here. Two of Swords. Yeah, Seven of Cups, Confusion, Choices. It's Venus and Scorpio energy. Somebody could be trying to confuse you. Let me blow my nose. I feel like somebody's in denial. Somebody's in La La Land, Seven of Cups. Y'all may have a tough choice to make. You may have to tune out everybody else's opinion or what everybody else thinks you should do. Or this is this person. Seven of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Cups, listen to your intuition. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June Cancer, June Gemini. Yeah, listen to your inner voice. Follow your heart. Something, yeah. Somebody's confused about a choice or uh, what's this? Somebody could be wanting you to feel confused about your choice. What's this Queen of Cups? You're, yeah, the world in reverse. Yeah, somebody wants you to feel like there's unfinished business. Things are not fully over when they are. Okay, so you could be somebody needs to cut their uh, cut their losses. It's, a goal has not been achieved. Something feels incomplete, or maybe you feel incomplete without this person, or or that could just be a wound of yours that you may need to heal. This could have been really codependent. The world in reverse could be failure delays here there's a lot of delays what's this world in reverse yeah the eight of swords i'm somebody wants you to y'all need to tune something now i'm telling you somebody's trying to get you to go backwards jupiter and gemini 
especially if you feel better not being with somebody, something is just not going to work. I'm telling you, somebody, somebody, somebody hasn't learned from their mistakes, and they, they don't be that person to keep going back to somebody. Somebody is playing victim, is woe is me, it is I'm getting somebody's feeling stuck and trapped. Somebody is trying to cause, somebody's trying to cast illusions on uh, around somebody's feelings and keep somebody, somebody trying to bind somebody mentally, emotionally, spiritually, sexually, probably. Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. December Capricorn, December Sag. So we have a pair here, then there's a queen. Somebody's child's mother or their mother could have gotten in the way. What's this queen of pentacles? Yeah, August Virgo, August Leo energy. Somebody's unreliable. Somebody's really stubborn. They, they they make promises they don't keep. They don't they don't have any follow through. They start things they don't finish. This could be a man or a woman. Somebody's not loyal. They I I, I just somebody is just somebody ain't listening. I feel like somebody's family or who I don't know. So I, Somebody got in the way. Eight of Swords. Or they're trying to. Eight of Swords here. The tower wanted to come out. What's the Eight of Swords? The Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, lie. Somebody's trying to play mind games. Somebody's trying to keep somebody feeling overwhelmed mentally. Fuck with somebody's intuition, their thought process, their, their decision making, what they're seeing and feeling what they're doing. This could be evil eye. Somebody could be trying to fuck with your intuition, your through your emotions or whatever this or your mind. Somebody somebody you could be feeling scatterbrain. Somebody's not learning something. Somebody so yeah, no. Mm -mm. Somebody is not as smart as they think they are. What's endorsement? <laughs> Persuasion, bribe, temptation. Mm -mm. What's endorsement? Yeah, justice. Somebody's trying to legally bribe somebody or get something to go in their favor. Libra energy. You or somebody can have Libra in their chart. What's this endorsement? <laughs> Yeah, three of cups, Mercury and Cancer. Maybe somebody has friends that work in the legal system, so they could be trying to, I don't know, somebody's trying to bribe somebody into doing something to, to so they can get away with something. And it's something big here. Could be have to do with money, money laundering, scamming. Somebody could be a scam artist. They're a thief of some kind. Spiritual thief, emotional thief, a a, a, way, a thief of energy, a thief of there. Somebody's you know whatever. Justice here. What's the justice? Yeah, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, October Libra, October Scorpio here. Heavy on the Libra energy. So some of you guys could have Libra in your chart, or you're dealing with somebody that does, man or woman. Somebody could want to do the right thing. I feel like somebody was bribed by a friend to do something to you so, so they can fuck with your self-esteem, your confidence. I don't know. If you guys, if you and this person got mutual friends, I don't know. The King and Queen of Cups is here. King and Queen of Pentacles is here. Because there's love here, but I feel like somebody, they did some fuck shit. What's this? Maybe, I don't know. Y'all could, uh, what's this King of Cups? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Jupiter and Capricorn. I do feel like somebody is single and free. Somebody wants to... Oh, somebody could want to adjust something legally, but it can't be adjusted. If something is like permanent, something can't... Or spiritually. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the the 
Emperor Aries energy and a hero font in reverse, Taurus. So you can have Aries or Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with somebody that does. Somebody's very vigilant. This person loves you, but they can be really militant. They're Somebody's too obsessed with power or this is you. This could be a manager, a boss that could be trying to bribe somebody or because the justice could be about balance, legalities, fairness. But I feel like something is messy. Somebody could be dealing with their boss or manager, a teacher or somebody that's in the law. Somebody's non-committal with this hair font in reverse, the king of pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be married, but they're not committed with, or they were in a commitment with you or somebody, but they weren't, they didn't value those commitments. Or this was you. Maybe you didn't at one point. Maybe you had your part to play in certain things in this. I don't know. I feel like somebody's power hungry, though. Somebody could work in a hospital, an institution of some kind. Somebody's root chakra is out of balance. Somebody may could be somebody could be abusing their authority or their position of authority. Somebody could work for HR. Or maybe they know people and like, you know, somebody could be like a part of a, a sorority, a fraternity, you know, like a Mason, an Eastern Star, a AKA, or somebody could work for HR or somebody has some type of position of authority or they know people that do. And I don't know what they're trying to do. But something is, and somebody is trying to corrupt something or somebody. Somebody could be trying to use somebody that has the position to do something. Somebody's trying to get somebody to bend on their morals. So this is somebody that has a friend who's a lawyer, a judge. They could be trying to pay them to do something. Or somebody that, work, yeah, somebody has some type of position, high position, and they're trying to bribe somebody to doing something. Somebody's abusing their position. What's the hero font in reverse? Yeah, nine of swords, Mars and Gemini. Now they feel guilty. You know, I don't understand people. They do this. They, you know, they be doing all this fucked up shit and then they come out in the readings feeling guilty, sad, remorseful. Sometimes they don't give a fuck. Now somebody feels guilty. They're scared. This is somebody's friend who's, who has, who has, somebody has connections to somebody with some type of power and they're trying to pay them to do some fuck shit. Three of Cups. Yeah, the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, something is hidden. Yeah, the tower. Yeah, something was just somebody, no. What's the moon here? What's the moon? Yeah, the chariot in reverse. Heavy Cancer energy. Or somebody has a Cancer, Mercury, Venus, something. Gemini Mars, a Taurus Mars, I don't know. Somebody could be a moon in Taurus, Cancer, or Pisces. Yeah, somebody's hateful. Somebody here could be worried about going to jail. Somebody's trying to uh, create roadblocks for someone. Yeah, there's a choice here. What's this charity in reverse? Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody's committing a crime. Mercury and uh, uh, Venus in Aquarius. Somebody is trying to commit a crime. Somebody, oh my God, six of wands. Somebody is trying to pay somebody who's a lawyer, who, who has connections to some type of power to get something to go in their favor. Somebody, this is a big secret. This is, yeah, somebody here could even be a private investigator. Somebody's doing something that's morally incorrect. Or they know people like this, friends of theirs. Somebody committed a crime and they're trying to get away with something that by paying somebody off. And maybe they did already. The Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, March Pisces, March Aries. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this could be about money. This could be a woman 
that somebody is paying while bribing, bribing or a woman is bribing somebody. Yeah, somebody here could be getting in trouble for some type of for some type of money laundering or something like that. This could be identity theft, fraud with this page of swords in reverse. Somebody could be going to jail. What's the page of swords in reverse? Yeah, five of pentacles. Mercury and Taurus. Somebody's frustrated. They feel trapped. This could be, this, this could be like a fake-ass Bonnie and Clyde couple that's doing this. Whatever plan this is, it's not going to work. Somebody could be trying to call ACS on somebody or do something to something here with children possibly or a child. There's an unworkable plan here. Something is not going to work. It's just not. Somebody's going to be stuck where they're at. Somebody may even be stuck overseas, stuck in some type of spiritual portal for, or something that they're fucking doing. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Five of Cups. Somebody could be trying to take something from somebody. You could be seeing 555. Five, five. Aries got 555. Five, five. Somebody's name could start with an S. Um, yeah, just you and Aries got 555. Five, five. There's delays here. What's this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? And Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Something about money. Four of Pentacles, money. Capricorn Sun energy. Something about money. Somebody doesn't want to... This person may have to pay you child... Somebody may have to pay child support and they don't want to. Or somebody could have hired a hitman or they hired... Somebody got hired or paid or they're... Somebody's trying to pay somebody to do something. I'm telling you, look at this. And if, I'm, I'm telling you, it has something to do possibly with kids or robbery, theft. Somebody is trying to like, this, this could be blackmail. Yeah, somebody's trying to get away with harming someone so they can keep something or keep someone to themselves. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, Page of Cups, somebody's acting like they're a friend or acting like they're innocent, but they're not. Somebody's been waiting and watching. Some of you guys need to invest in a lawyer, possibly. Because somebody's not above, somebody's not above the, they think, somebody thinks they're above the law or they can, or money can fix everything. Somebody doesn't want to share something with you. You may, some, yeah. Somebody could be penny pinching. What's this for, Pentacles? Five of Wands, yeah. It's a lot of people in on something. Saturn and Leo, yeah. Somebody is greedy. They're selfish. Nine of Swords is here. Somebody wants you to conform to something. You're not. Nine of Swords. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. Taurus Libra. Somebody could be trying to bribe somebody into getting an abortion. My, you know, trigger warning. Two of Wands here, Mars and Aries. Yeah, there's a decision that. Yeah, okay. Two of Wands, Ten of Swords here. The lovers, Gemini, heavy Gemini energy. Ten of Swords is Gemini. The lovers is Gemini. Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. So something about a partnership, a choice, a friendship, an alliance. A betrayal is crazy. This is like some fake ass Bonnie and Clyde. I don't know what this person thought they were doing. This could be a mother figure. A distorted feminine. This could be a woman that's trying to do this. Or a man trying to do this to a woman. Somebody's heart and sacral chakra is blocked off. Some of y'all could have experienced a miscarriage with this person because they did something. They paid for something. Somebody paid for something to happen. Somebody thinks they're getting away with something. What's the five of wands? They're not though. Five of wands. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. A lot of people cloak in their energies. You need to be careful with who you call your friends. Okay. Or if this, if you have, or this person's family, or they, I don't know, Virgo energy, you or somebody can have Virgo in their chart. Mm -hmm. 
somebody's listening to outside opinions. They need somebody needs to go within to make this decision. This could be conflict, drama. What's the Empress in reverse? Who's that? Yeah, Six of Wands, Jupiter and uh, Leo. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Something about money. Somebody could be in debt. Somebody's a liar. They're they are chronically something. They're lazy. Somebody could be a perfectionist. They they, they want to take shortcuts their whole life. They don't want to. They don't. Somebody hates being held accountable. When they feel like they're about to be held accountable, they try to find their way out of stuff, but it keeps getting them stuck in these traps all over again. Somebody can have a, a history of being locked up or or issued with the legal system. Somebody could be trying to shape shift and cloak themselves. They can't. Something could be coming out about a mother figure. Or somebody trying to paint. Somebody trying to just. Somebody trying to paint somebody in a certain light to the public. Somebody could be trying to embarrass somebody, bully somebody. This could be blackmail. It's, I'm getting crazy shit. For real. Somebody's putting on a mask. Mm -mm. There's a lot of deception here. Let's, let's get some TV. Hmm. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. Yeah, I just feel like somebody saw something as an opportunity. And it could have something to do with money. Okay. Somebody's an opportunist. Somebody, somebody, uh, break, somebody lies a lot rainbow the most difficult part of a situation is over and i feel like yeah it's over for you but this person could be going through their own stuff yeah treat affairs with your family so this can have something to do with your family leo somebody may owe you something yeah something could be happening in the month of may you could be dealing with a taurus or a gemini okay so the month of May or October, Libra, Scorpio energy of this year or last year. Pay attention to the month of May next month. If nothing, if, if this is not something that happened last October or May, it could be coming up now. Yeah, broken ring. Parting of ways in either romance or business. Yeah, you could be parting ways with somebody. Money path. And a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Yeah, somebody was trying to court themselves, trying to come up with you or do so, or take a shortcut and try to, I don't know what they were trying to do. Yeah, broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. Somebody could be going to jail in October <laughs> or May. Maybe you didn't know this person was a scam, a scammer or a scam artist or a, a fraud in some way. We got I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Yeah, go watch Taurus's reading because Taurus got something like that heavy. Okay. Weeping willow, family sorrow. This, this got something to do with family members and on something, friends. And we got Lily spiritual love yeah some of you guys got new love coming in we got jug lighthearted and carefree time some y'all need to go out more okay there's somebody competing with you it could be another fire sign that's close to you or they got fire in their chart they can have virgo placements as well uh, what else? Fly. A period of ill health and depression. Yeah, I just... It's a lot I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of dark stuff from this reading. Yes, a love. It has, it has something to do with the connection. We got ant, work, achievement, and success. I feel like there was like something was a group effort. Really? And we got August. So something, somebody could be born in August. Something could be happening in August. Leo season, uh, Leo, Virgo. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. So some of you guys, you may need to connect with others. 
network i don't I, I just feel like there could be somebody that you're meeting you need to be open to meeting new people because you never know who can help you with this a friend may be able to help you somebody here could be paranoid or yeah y'all need to be careful with who's in your energy though for real because I don't really, um, I don't know. There's distractions. You could be having a hard time focusing. Is this this reading? So, so far, the fire sign. Okay, there's a lot of drama in the fire sign readings. I just feel like as a whole, the collective, everybody is being attacked with something. I just feel like this period that we're in is very spiritually intense. <laughs> This retrograde, the eclipse, it's a lot. This is your reading, Leo. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.